All right, so we're back with this while and if program, and I want to show you something that a little tr trick that people do. Um, they don't want to delete things in your program. This is called commenting things out. And for example, I've got two if statements in here. And if you want to see what's actually going on little by piece by piece, like one if statement and then the other if statement, what you do is you comment out something. So if I look at the second if statement where the cursor is, if I make that whole if statement, if I comment out, oops, wrong place. If I comment out each line of that if statement, that means all that's a comment and it's all in green and it's not going to run. The program's not even going to look at it. So all it's going to look at is this. So this is like if I want to check this part of the if statement, see if this part works in the program. I comment out the other part. So again, compile the program, push it to the robot. So the only thing that should happen is basically nothing should happen until I press the limit switch and then LED goes off, uh, two motors run, and the left motor doesn't run. And that's the only thing that happens because I commented out the second if statement. So let's start it. Boom, they were running. All right, nothing's happening. Which, that's what should happen, right? Because I haven't pressed the limit switch. The if statement says, if I press the limit switch. And then press the limit switch. So that first if statement is working correctly. Now, again, it's going to keep running forever until I tell it to stop. Um, so that's how you check to see if pieces are working correctly. You comment out another piece so that it doesn't run. That way you don't have to delete it and try and put it back in. Now, how do I put it back in? I literally just get rid of my comment slashes. See how it's all changing back color? Boom, it's all back to the right color. So that's commenting things out.